ان الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه وتعالى ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله سبحانه وتعالى من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير ليس لنا رب سواه ولا نعبد الا اياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون ونشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه بلغ الرساله وادى الامانه ونصح الامه وكشف الغم وتركها على المحجه البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها الا هالك فصلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين يقول المولى عز وجل في كتابه العظيم بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون اما بعد ما يدي براذرز اند سيسترز ان اسلام من اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار نعوذ بالله سبحانه وتعالى من النار My dear brothers and sisters in Islam عز الله سبحانه وتعالى هذه الأمة بالإسلام الله سبحانه وتعالى loved this ummah and he led the Islam as our guidance and the last prophets Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the best guidance the Quran the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to benefit the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and where we add from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as so many people celebrate the birthday of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we have to stand and ask ourselves where we add from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many scholars today, they said, we need new Muslims. The Muslims we are having in the earth today is not the real Muslims. We need the Muslims who carry the flag of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Follow the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned for all of us in Surah Saf. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, lima taquluna ma la taf'alun? Kaburu maqtan inda Allahi an taquluna ma la taf'alun? Inna Allaha yuhibbu alladhina yuqatiluna fi sabilihi saffan ka'annahum bunyanum marsus. Why you are saying something and you doing something else? Why you not united? Why you are against each others? Why are you fighting with each other? We reach the point today in the earth, everybody fighting the war only for two things, position and money. While Muhammad وسلم, and his companion, they fighting to invite the people for the deen of Allah to the, to the, the Islam, the word of La ilaha illallah, who is Allah? What is the Quran? But today we ignore all of that and we're looking for the position and the money. The contract between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his ibad is Al-Kitabullah, Al-Quran. He revealed to all the prophets. Everyone come to his nation to explain to them who is Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has only three parts in the Holy Quran. They call it Mithaqan. It's the only strong contract in the Quran. Allah mentioned three parts only. Mithaqan ghalidha. Mithaq is many parts in the Quran talk about the contract, the mithaq. But mithaqan ghalidha is strong. You cannot get rid of it. You cannot get out of that. Only three parts. In Surah Al-Ahzab and Surah Al-Nisa. In Surah Al-Nisa, two parts. Ayah number 21 and ayah number 154. Remember that very well. In Surah Al-Ahzab, ayah number 7. Now we need to come together to help each other 
and we see where we add from the mithaq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the report from the tide of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the book his book the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and let me start in Surah Al-Ahzab first because he revealed the books to his prophets and he make a contract with them and he said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Holy Quran وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ مِيثَاقَهُمْ وَمِنْكَ وَمِنْ نُوحِ وَإِبْرَاهِيمِ وَمُوسَى وَعِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمِ وَأَخَذْنَا مِنْهُمْ مِيثَاقًا غَلِيظًا The five prophets, all the Azm. We know who all the Azm. So Allah mentioned them. Look at Nuh, alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam first. He said, وَمَنْكَ from you, ya Muhammad. We have a contract with you. And he did his part. We hold masajid in the earth today. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he's complete. He did his duty. And the khutbah al-wada'ah, he says that. He said, today I just complete my deen. And the Islam is your deen. It's you. But... He mentioned something else, which we're going to get in Surah Nisa about the ladies. Ahsantu furujahum. You got them from this private part. You enjoyed them. So be careful with the Nisa. Very careful. Then when he come to Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam, how many years he's invited the, deen, uh, the people to the deen of Allah? 950 years. And only few come with him. Wastaqshaw thiyabahum. They just put their clothes like that. They don't want to listen to him. And they put their finger in their ears. They don't want to listen to anything else. Until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept his dua to destroy all of them except the believers which is few. Then when he come to Ibrahim alayhi salam, we all know the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam. He was against his tribe. They throw him in the fire. Allah give him a return to leave the land to a desert with his wife and his son. But he accepts the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him. He went through a lot. Ibrahim alayhi salam was traveling from place to place to place for the, for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Musa alayhi salam. Now we talk about Ulil Azm. Musa alayhi salam. How many times he got hard time from Bani Israel? We're going to get it in Surah An-Nisa, ayah number 154. They gave Musa alayhi salam a hard time. They told him, Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yumbit lana min amla fil ard min biquliha wa qithaya wa fumiha wa alasiha wa masaliha. Qala tastabdiluna alladhi huwa adna billadhi huwa khayr. We need something come from the earth for us to enjoy it. We need to control the whole earth. They control the earth today. Yes, they do. They do do the earth. They control it. Is anyone can stand in front of Israel today? No. Any country? No. Any president? No. So they control the whole earth. It's true. When I visit Egypt, I just came back recently. And I always like to visit the people who some brother give me some money to give zakah and iftar and all of that. And I see the number increased. The family of four became nine. The five became seven and eight. What is it? You know what? The ladies, they got divorced and they leave the husband and they go back to the parents' house. Why? The brother cannot afford to feed the family. So better go to the court, Americans away, and get divorced. Increase the number to 48% divorced. While years ago it was only 2%. The country being divided, very wealthy or no more middle class or very poor, eat from the garbage. Where is the land of Egypt? It's very wealthy land. You know where is it? One of the persons said it years ago, we never noticed it, and we say he's cuckoo. He's crazy. He said Israel will take over Egypt sooner. What shout? How? Buy, buy the land as they did in Palestine before. 
and they make the land very expensive, no one afford it, and they send some people who pay this money, so they own the land in direct way and leave the poor people as they are. Yes, it happened. The houses today run from a thousand of dollars to a millions of dollars. Not lying, my brothers and sisters. They own by non-believers. These believers through an Arab countries. But recently, last week, one of the scholars repeat the same talk. Be careful, he's from Libya. He say, what's going on in Egypt? Now it's moved to Libya. They buy the same land over there now. Who is doing that? You think the Arab people? Yes, who work with Israel people, and do we know who they are? But our own country, they love to get the money first. We will die, that's not a problem. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala move after that to after Sayyidina Musa to Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. But Musa he said to them, Lima tu zunani wa kat ta'lamuna anya rasulullah ilaykum. Why you harm me and you know I'm a prophet? But Isa alayhi salam said, I come after that by the Torah wa mubashiram bi rasuli yati min bad ismu Ahmad. I'm giving you the news, I have the Torah, but there is a prophet who will come, his name Ahmed. So whole prophets coming together by the deen of Allah, they all confirm this the last prophet will be Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who get the message, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala get from those anbiya prophet, mithaqan ghalidha. You cannot go out of this mithaq. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Come to Surah An-Nisa, ayah number 21. And he is talking about the family. But before that, let's go for ayah number 154, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about Bani Israel. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَرَفَعْنَا فَوْقَهُمُ الطُّورَ بِمِيثَاقِهِمْ The mountain of the tour, we make it on the top of them, by their contract. وَقُلْنَا لَهُمْ مُدُخُلُوا الْبَابَ سُجَّدَ وَقُلْنَا لَهُمْ لَا تَعْدُوا فِي السَّبْتِ وَأَخَذْنَا مِنْهُمْ مِيثَاقًا غَلِيظًا Two. Allah make the Gabal to the Mount of Tunis. They disobey Musa alayhi salam. They say, go and cut it. We cannot fight with those people. When they saw the mountain, the top of them, they get scared. So they did the sujood halfway and they scared from the mountain and they listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said don't do any fishing in Saturday they said okay we're not gonna do it but there is a Jewish way they put the net and they surrounded the water and the fish can go there trapped and then they don't do it Saturday they collect in the following day that's how they are doing the mithaq and ghalid, they always destroyed it. They never kept it. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's talking to us now. And why we have this divorce? Why we have a problem? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's telling us in the Holy Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, la tarithu nisa'a karaha. Don't take anything from your lady by power. Because you have the power. Allah give the word of divorce in you as a man to set it, not the ladies. You use your brain, but she use her heart. She can say, let me go, let me leave, let me leave by her heart, but her brain is not. But you use your brain, so Allah give you the power to say these words. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَعَشِرُهُنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ Live with them very nice, very careful. Because this lady, that's when you married her, you got her from her family house, trust or not, she cannot even change her clothes in front of her brother or her father, but she changed it in front of you. See how important you are for her. So be careful. This lady loves you so much. Be nice to her. It's not my word, it's the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. بالمعروف, and Allah said it. If you don't like them, if you don't like them, 
it might be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it more better for you than anything else. وَعَسَىٰ أَن تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَيَجْعَلُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ فِي خَيْرٍ كَثِيرًا You might don't like something in her, but Allah make it better for you. She can get you a nice boy, memorize the Quran, nice girls, color, nice, you never know. Allah has His words. But if you like to leave her, and you marry another one, and to, to change it by another lady, be careful. If you give her one qintar or something, don't take it back. أَفَضْتُمْ إِلَيْهُنْ You are asleep with them. فَكَيْفَ تَأْخُذُونَهُ مِنْهُمْ وَقَدْ أَفْضَى بَعْضَكُمْ إِلَىٰ بَعْضٍ How you take this one from them and you spend together. وَأَخَذْنَا مِنْكُمْ مِيثَاقًا غَلِيظًا So even the marriage is the contract strong from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The man he went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, I want to get married. He said, what do you have? For money, he said, nothing. You have a house? No. You have? No. You have? No. Do you have a tumbler? I have nothing. Do you memorize anything from the Quran? Small surah. Go for the nukah with the small surah of the Quran. He make the life easy. But when you married, you married by the book of Allah. It's a contract. Inshallah, I can come closer. Make room to your brother. Inshallah, jazakumullah khair. So the mithaq al-ghalid is the contract between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The witness is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we're not joking with that. So when we see we have a problem in our family because we left the book behind us. We're looking for the money today. Money and position. Your money and my money. Where we at with our children today? The prayer which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it to us, it became very difficult in us. Even the Friday, it became very difficult for us. We like to go in the last five minutes or ten minutes. And the question, don't leave the khutbah earlier because some brother who donate money, they come in the last, they, like to, they don't like to leave their business. Where we had from the deen of Allah, we're still talking about, I put my hand in the, in the right on the top of the left, or leave it down, the qibla a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Where we at? We need to talk about our deen, our land, our Islam. We destroyed our deen by our own self. I give the khutbah last week. I don't have a car because I have an accident. We don't give excuse to each other. We just look at you. What is it? But ask what's behind first. Give excuse to your brother. And I always have my thought and everything in my car. I don't have the car. I borrow a car. Then I forget to bring the hat with me. I realize it in the same place when the brother asked me, please don't come. I love your khutbah, brother, but next time don't come with the necktie. It's like a cross. I don't upset no people. I put it in my car because I don't like anyone to get upset from me. That's me. Then I put my hand, I realize I left the house. I stand to give the khutbah and the three brothers in front of me, Sheikh, your hat. I said, I'm sorry. I don't have it. Can I borrow yours? But you're going to stay without hat. It's another problem. I smile. I say I have an accent, I don't have any, but you can give me yours and you can stay without prayer. You can stay without hats. We don't give excuse. The brother, when he met the Sejuids, he didn't sit the right way. And the brother there said, brother, hey, this is not right. Brother, he lost one of his finger. He don't have it. He has no way. Can we have the excuse to each other? Can we talk separately to each other? To understand what we are doing, but we always harm each other. Why? And do we say we are Muslims? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Tell me any one of us, include myself, after the Jum'ah now, we realize I have to go for Mithaq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Mithaqan Ghalidhan, and I study that. We all gonna run back to go to back to my our work. 
and see where we are from our work, what we didn't finish, shopping, bank accounts, everything. But when we come to each other as a, as a brother to help each other, we're not there. My experience, if I see 95% of the brothers who has something and he asks for help, he never got it. If he got a price for something, he will get it cheaper from the disbelievers. They run to the Chinese people, it's cheaper than Muslim brother. Say, brother, salamu alaikum, alhamdulillah, the price triple. Go to the Chinese people, you get it low down, very low down. They are in time, they finish in time, they give you what you ask for, but our Muslim brothers run behind him. Brother, when are you going to finish? I'm coming, don't worry. Hey, brother, sub, you are a Muslim. So we have no contract, no mithaq, no ahd, no ahd. That's what we learn in our deen. Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas. You are the best nation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. So you have to stuck together by the mithaq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Put your Quran and the sunnah in front of you. And just remember, we will leave this dunya no matter what. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of us to return back to the Islam and the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa sayyam mu'mineen. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, when we talk about the money controlling us, I share with you another story, which is true. Today morning, I heard it. One brother, he has to take a chemo. And back home, they have to wait at least six months to get the chemo. You know what that means? Wait until it expired. But they approve it today morning. He's going to start the first dose. And he'd been told by the nurse, you have to pay for the first dose and the rest is free. But the paper from the government, the whole dose is for free. The nurse, she has the nerve to see someone that had a cancer and she take the money, the first dose in her pocket. That's where we at now. We don't care about each other. The man has a big farm. And this farm, is a grape farm. And we all love to eat the grapes, sweet stuff. And from that we do the liquors, which we're not allowed to. So he got the best parts and he gave it to the guy who worked with him and said, go and give it to my family. So he went there. After he finished his day, he went there. And then he asked his wife, give me some part of the grape. She said, what? We eat it, all of us, me and your children. There's nothing left. Say, okay, alhamdulillah. Next day, he donate a lot of money for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He built a masjid. And they ask him why. He say, you eat my money while I'm alive in the dunya. But if I go to my grave, what will happen after that? No one care about me except my good deeds. Help, help, help yourself before it's too late. Three months later, he passed away. Allah benefit him. This is the great things we have to understand it. Yes, give some to your kids. We're not saying anything. But build your house in Jannatillah subhanahu wa ta'ala before it's too late. Before you say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh, I wish I can go back, I can do it. Ka'atasaddaq, it's too late. Today you are alive. Think about your time in the grave. How many people pass the way today with it every single day? How many murders are in Gaza and Palestine? And how many people today you sit in Bangladesh die by, by their own brothers? And how you see the people, they die from no food. People put themselves in front of the metro and they die because they cannot survive in their life. How many people get divorced today? Why we don't collect all of these data and sit down together with the family and we see how we fix it? Just remember who's your wife? With the first time you meet her, how it is? What do you think about this time? You love her so much. You dress very well. She dress very well. You talk sweet. You talk fine. You spend money. What do you add today from that? 
She's still the same person that she left her home and she gave you all her body to stay with you. Even the sisters, she has to understand her husband loves her so much. No matter what, sometimes we talk, but we don't realize that we are doing mistakes. We have to love each other. We have to get closer to each other. Brothers who come to the message all the time and your neighbors are Muslims, knock his door, take him from his hands, say, let's go to the prayer, brothers. He can reject it one time, two times, but later on he will come with you. You go to your home, ask your wife, she's praying or not. No, 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 what you are doing, I will do it. Just go and finish your prayer. You're going to miss your time. Go ahead. Sister, if she asks her husband, why you stay home, why you don't go to the masjid and they pray? The masjid is right here. Break the door or ask the door or while you stay home. One time, you will listen to her. The Prophet وسلم, when he come to the blind person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Jibreel say, no, he has to come and to the masjid and pray. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, beautiful. He'll teach us a lot. We learn a lot from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even standing the night of the prayer, he's taking permission from his wife. Yeah, Aisha, can I ask you kindly, just I stand if I pray? This is my night, ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, Aisha, I ask a permission. He need a permission. Take a permission from your wife. Say, I'm going to my maghrib today. She's not going to say no. Next time, take permission. After that, you forgot. She's going to say, are you not going to the masjid? You see? Relation. It's love. We're looking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our dua. Where? In our salah. The best time in his house. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all of us. And let all of us among the people who understand the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. United together help each other as Muslims. We need to be among the people who help each other kindly understand who we are. Between me and you is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Allahumma akhfi lana dhunubana. Kafir anna sayyatina. Ishfi mardana. Allahumma ishfi kulla marid. Allahumma ishfi kulla marid. Allahumma ishfi kulla marid. Allahumma arham amwatana jami'an ya kareem. Ighfi liwalidina warhamuma kama rabbayana sigara. Nasalaka ya rabbana aljanna wa naimiha. Wa naudhu bika ya rabbana min al-nari wa shururiha. Rizukna ya rabbana sharbata ma'i min yadi rasulika al-kareem. La nazma ba'daha abada. يا رب اجمعنا مع النبيين والصديقين والشهداء في عليين اللهم ارزقنا الفردوس الأعلى اللهم ارزقنا الفردوس الأعلى اللهم ارزقنا الفردوس الأعلى اللهم بعد الشيطان عن بيوتنا وعن أبنائنا وأحبابنا يا كريم اللهم يا رحمن يا رحيم اجمعنا مع أهلنا وكل من نحب في جناتك يا كريم اللهم اجعل آخر كلماتنا في هذه الدنيا لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله ولا تقبض أرواحنا يا ربنا إلا وأنت راد عنا يا كريم عباد الله الله رحمني ورحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وأنا عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي عذكم لعلكم تذكرون واذكروا الله العلي العظيم واذكروا وادعوه يستجب لكم وأقم الصلاة